Welcome to a TV channel dedicated to all things technology. In this video, we will discuss AEM topics. Whether you are new to Adobe Experience Manager or a seasoned pro, this channel is the ultimate resource for everything related to AEM. My passion for AEM began years ago when I first discovered its powerful capabilities for creating engaging digital experiences. From building websites and managing content to personalizing customer experiences and analyzing data, AEM has the tools and features to take your online presence to the next level. Through this channel, I aim to share my knowledge and expertise on AEM topics, providing in-depth tutorials, tips and tricks, and best practices. From basic concepts to advanced techniques, my goal is to help you unlock the full potential of AEM and achieve your digital marketing goals. So whether you're looking to enhance your skills, stay up to date on the latest AEM trends, or simply learn more about this incredible platform, you've come to the right place. Join me on this journey of discovery and let's explore the world of AEM together. Next, I will be covering questions and answers on unit test cases in AEM. Question 1. What is AEM? and why is it necessary to write unit tests for it. Answer 1, AEM, or Adobe Experience Manager, is a content management system that allows developers to create, manage, and deliver digital experiences across various channels, including web, mobile, and social. Writing unit tests for AEM is essential to ensure that the system functions as intended and meets the requirements of the end users. Unit tests help developers identify and fix bugs and errors before the code is deployed to the production environment reducing the risk of downtime and improving the overall quality of the software. Question 2. What are the different types of unit tests that can be written for AEM? Answer 2. There are several types of unit tests that can be written for AEM, including component tests. These tests verify the functionality of individual components in AEM, such as pages, templates, and dialogues. Integration tests. These tests verify the integration between different components in AEM, such as the integration between a page and a template or between a component and a service. Functional tests. These tests verify the functional requirements of AEM, such as user authentication, content creation, and publishing. Performance tests. These tests verify the performance of AEM under different load conditions, such as high traffic or concurrent user access. Question 3. What are the best practices for writing unit tests for AEM? Answer 3. Some of the best practices for writing unit tests for AEM include writing test cases that cover all possible scenarios and edge cases, keeping the test code simple and easy to read and maintain, marking external dependencies to isolate the code being tested, and reduce the complexity of the tests. Using a testing framework such as JUnit or Makito to automate the testing process and generate test reports. Running the tests frequently and as part of the build process to catch any errors early in the development cycle. Writing tests that are independent of each other and can be run in any order. Question 4. What are the common pitfalls to avoid when writing unit tests for AEM? Answer 4. Some of the common pitfalls to avoid when writing unit tests for AEM include writing tests that are too complex and difficult to read and maintain. Writing tests that depend on external systems or services that may not be available or consistent across different environments. Writing tests that are too specific and may break when the code or the environment changes. Ignoring code coverage metrics and not testing all possible scenarios and edge cases. Writing tests that are too slow or resource intensive and may slow down the build process. Not running the tests frequently enough or not integrating them into the build process, which may result in undetected errors in the production environment. Dear guys, I just wanted to take a moment to say a heartfelt thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you're enjoying my videos, there are a few things you can do to help support my channel and keep the content coming. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Lastly, if you know someone who might enjoy my content, I would be eternally grateful if you could share my videos with them. Word of mouth is incredibly powerful and your support in spreading the word about my channel would mean the world to me. Thank you again for your support and I can't wait to continue creating content that you enjoy.